Say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hmm. There's Noah and there's Haru. Now three and five. And we are just on our way to Hiral to do grass cutting and it is 8.55 in the morning and uh, already 36 Celsius. It's going to be a lot hotter so that's why we're leaving now. Wife, Morning. So yeah, we'll see you in here. Okay, made it to Hirao. This is uh, the uh, main driveway right here. It's a shed, tool shed right there. And there's a, a lot going on today. We've got. Um, a lot of family here today because there's uh, a religious thing going on for the grandparents that died last year and uh, so we've got the monk here and they're going to do like a little ceremony so I'm not, I won't be going into that I mean I might, I might go and have a sneak peek and see if I can film, film a little bit of it but beautiful day here, let me just turn that around look at that it's not quite as hot as it was before, but I am wearing a, a cooling shirt. Um, these shirts are very popular. With, um, like laborers and whatnot. It uh, takes the temperature down about five Celsius. But yeah, so it's very dry here at the moment. But we've got a lot going on today. Um, so all the grass has been cut here, but I'll be going up there the background there, the green area up there, cutting the grass up there today. But yeah, beautiful day. It's just going to get really hot later. It's scheduled to be around 37 to 38 degrees again today. Um, it was uh, been like this for about a week now. And in fact, two weeks, two or three weeks actually. It's just been really, really hot. But we've got some clouds forming over there, which is nice to see because that means cooler weather will be coming soon. And uh, I don't know if you can see that up there, but it looks like it's disappeared now. It looked like a crucifix in the cloud. It's kind of cool. But yeah, all right, let's, uh, I'll go up to the house because somebody's going to have to take care of the kids. Car. It's too hot not to wear a cap. Got me with me white hair, my hat. No advertising intended. So yeah, I thought I've always thought that this place would be make a really good area for a coffee shop because there's a lot of tourists come up this way, especially on bikes like push bikes and mountain bikers. Uh, racers and uh, motorcyclists and hikers come up this way, especially spring, summer, and autumn. So it's um, it'd be a nice little business to have, I think, but just take too much money to open a place like that here because the main house would need to be renovated. That would be about oh, I think they quoted us 20 million yen just to renovate that, and then. Obviously we'd need a car park and stuff, so that would have to all be done, which if we used tarmac or concrete, that's going to be in the millions and millions of yen as well, like probably in 20, 30 million yen. So it's just not worth it in that respect. You'd never make your money back. But um, I mean, if I had the money, I'd renovate the house because it'd be a beautiful place to live. And... Uh, it's a little bit cooler up here than it is in the city, obviously. But yeah, I'd love to live up here. They've got land all up on the side of the mountain as well. And so it's not no longer accessible because it's just so overgrown. But yeah, all right, let's go and see what's going on at the house and uh, meet this monk. It's a very uh, traditional Buddhist Thing. 
for them to do at Obon. Um, probably do it every year. Where they just do like prayers and a service for the deceased family members. And then, um, yeah, basically family all gets together. It's like today, we're all going to work on the, uh, we're all going to work here on the farm. Um, I keep calling it a farm. It's not really, it's, it's kind of a farm. I mean, it doesn't produce livestock or rice or anything. They just grow their own vegetables now, which we get a lot of. And um, like I said, grandpa's main business used to be like these trees, these bushes right here. And uh, you see they're all rounded off and they just like grow them and sell them to housing companies and um, people who just wanted bushes in the garden. I know, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. I think there'd be a lot of um, fireworks and um, uh, festivals going on everywhere today because it's, I think, is it today or tomorrow? It's, I think it's tomorrow is technically the last day of our one. There's a fire truck going along the road. They're just basically giving out a message in Japanese saying, be aware that everything's very dry and um, extremely flammable. So they want to avoid any kind of forest fires and whatnot. Let me just show you this pathway up here. So right there, it goes right from here, over here and up there. There's a pathway up to the old house where America's uh, mum and auntie grew up at. Um, that one is just completely overrun now with bamboo trees. And uh, they don't own this bit of land here. Just all this up here is not theirs. But up there and along there. And they've got some like land down in the field over here as well. And across in the town over here, there's bits of land uh, in different spots. And obviously behind this little hill right here is uh, another spot of land where they grow a lot of veggies. Yeah, Grandpa would like to own his own land. Anyway, we'll get on with it. Right, I've been and bought myself a pair of uh, safety goggles. They're all, they were all debating at the house like whether I should actually get any because they said it's going to sweat inside but they've got perforations along the side and on the top. So when I'm uh, using the strimmer even though I've got a face shield on, uh, sometimes stones fly up underneath up here and uh, actually hit you in the eye. So I don't want to take any chances. I might look like a nerd or I look like a minion. King Bob! The <laughs> King Bob. Uh, so yeah, anyway, they're, only, they're really cheap, like 365 yen just for that. So do the job nicely. So yeah, let's go and cut some grass now.
just brought me another ice collar. They last about 20 minutes. In this weather they last about five if you're lucky. But it does help. It's too hot. You can see how red I am. That's not from facing the sun. Facing my back with the sun it's just really unbearably hot. So I'm going to take a short break and just cool off for about 10 minutes before I get back and go and finish the job. Then I'll show you what it was. I'll tell you, if you do come to Japan as a tourist, best time to come is after September, September to March, when it's nice and cool. And plus in March you'll get like the beginning of spring, so you'll see the cherry blossoms as well. March and April. May May to September, just not worth it for the heat. If you don't like heat, then don't come. I don't know how I've been here 25 years. <laughs> can't express the importance of staying cool in weather like this. I'm from I'm from England. I'm Irish blooded. I'm not built for this. I'm not built I mean I'm built for the work but I'm just not in this heat. It's just unbelievable. You've got to stay cool, stay hydrated, so I'm drinking some orange juice. And I'll get back and finish it. There's not much left to do. But um, don't want to push yourself in heat like this. You might feel alright but then you could just collapse and wake up in hospital and the heat stroke can be a very bad thing so yeah just stay hydrated stay cool oh right i've had some lunch a little bit better I don't know if you can tell on camera got my fat belly but the color of my overalls is a lot darker than it naturally is because of all the sweat I'm wearing this wet towel on my head just to protect myself from the sun right now. Oh, it's unbelievable, but let me show you what I've done. So the pathway goes up here and up there, which is a little bit difficult to see, obviously. There we go. So, yeah, all this pathway up here and it goes up there and then down here. And I've got just a little bit more to do in there. And then they grow the vegetables just in there, so it's not much left to do. I don't know if you can see that. Just having a bit of a feast in the little pond over there. So yeah, um, you see the grass is very tall. Some places the grass is as high as three or four feet. And the average is about two foot, but um, yeah, it's about here is about from foot height. It's about three, three and a half foot um, tall. So the uh, strimmer's having a bit of a bit of a battle to get through it, but it's doing all right. There's the house from down here. Now it's really weird because they don't own this piece of land here or this bit here. Right next to it is a solar panel farm or just a bit of solar panel and about four or five years ago the solar panel company wanted to buy all this land as well they offered good money good money for um good money for this area anyway about like twenty thousand dollars for the land it's not high value land out here on the coastal areas but um grandpa kept saying yes and then he kept changing his mind so in the end they just gave up and then uh, of course he passed away so it's in the hands of the family now but um, the solar panel company's not come back, so mm, can't really blame them. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day. Very, very hot, of course. Uh, it doesn't feel as hot as it did before, but anyway, here's me again, so I'll get back on it. I'm done. Thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah shade. I must have been How was it? This. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, great. Bring on some more heat. I've only been out five minutes. I'm back to where I was an hour ago. Too hot for this shit. 
I'm an Irish man. In Japan, anything over 22 Celsius, forget it. Yep. Well, all right, just to finish off now, see that right there, it says 40 Celsius. 40 Celsius sitting temperature, it's probably gonna be about 38. But yeah, job done. Job done, job's a good one. Um, that hissing noise you can hear is the air coolers. It's so hot. I'm done now, I'm sitting in the car, I'm just waiting for the wife and kids now to get themselves out. But yeah, it seems to be clouding up a bit inland a bit. And, um, it's the 14th today, which somebody predicted the mega quake was going to hit today. I mean, it's only 1.30 in the afternoon, so there could still be time, so. But here, we're kind of near the sea, but we're elevated a bit here, so I think we'd be all right. If it did uh, happen and there was a tsunami, but if not, there's like higher mountains, we could just quickly run up there but you wouldn't want to be stranded in this heat I think with old Japanese houses a lot of them can withstand massive quakes my old house in 2001 there was a massive quake uh, just off the coast of Hiroshima and it was felt as far away as uh, South Korea and China and um, that sent like a tsunami for quite a way um, different parts of the planet but um, yeah the house it was two weeks after Samuel was born there was there was lots of run-ups like smaller quakes from October 2000 right up to March I think it was March uh, let's see about March 23rd or 21st or something Samuel was only two weeks old and um, yeah the, there was lots of smaller earthquakes some of them were quite quite big ones site you know it would knock the house a bit but the big one when that hit they said it was a magnitude 8.2 I don't know if that's true or not but the house was shaking for a, a good 45 50 seconds before it subsided and that was pretty scary and the house was like moving in a circle an old wooden house and uh, it was moving in a circle no damage whatsoever though and um, yeah still not as bad as the one that hit Fukushima 10 years later but still you do get used to them you get used to the smaller ones but still not a very pleasant experience and what's more frightening is the actual warning that comes on the phone to let you know that there's one coming now I've got my alert set to a relatively quiet so it doesn't scare because most people's phones are really, really loud. And the, last week when we had the one that hit uh, last week just outside of Miyazaki. Miyazaki or Miyajima? I always get those two confused. Down down south, off the south, so southeastern tip of um, Kyushu Island. Um, we got a warning here for that one. We're a long way off. And apparently it was like a magnitude 2 or something in this area but I don't know exactly if that was true or not because I didn't feel anything some people in Yamaguchi said they did but I didn't feel anything uh, and I was still outside because the warning came and I ran downstairs just and I stood outside my front door um, but nothing happened they're still pretty scary when they come you do get used to it, like anything else. That said though, this side of Japan, we're very fortunate, we're very blessed, we don't get a lot of earthquakes. Uh, they're quite a rare thing, to be honest. But anyway, it's clouding over a bit now, it looks like some storm clouds coming and I think there is some rain due this week, which would be nice. It's cooler at night time, cool enough to sit outside in the tent and have a, a cold beer or an ice, or an, uh, ice drink if you're not into alcohol. Uh, man. I'll sleep well tonight, that's for sure. 
right this time I am going so thanks for watching uh, I'll give you a quick shot of the uh, weather again beautiful blue sky and the storm clouds off in the distance there it's actually closer than it looks on camera but I'll leave you with that view thanks for watching see you next time